So you have some questions for me? Yep. All right. uh, so the first one will be your top five child favorite children's stories. My top five favorite children's stories. Um, well, the first one would be definitely Where the Wild Things Are. That's where I got the idea that I might do this as a job someday. When I was in high school, I had a baby sister, and all she did was cry and poop. <laughs> I couldn't stop the pooping, but I could stop the crying by reading her books, and that is the book she loved me to read the most. And when I was reading it, I thought, how did Maurice Sendak do that? How did he make such a great story with so few words, but he used the pictures to tell his stories? And I thought, that is like magic. So I filed that away. And now I'm doing, that's my job. The other person that comes to mind who I really love is Jim Marshall. Did you ever read any of the George and Martha books? They were friends. And he was uh, starting out about the same time I was starting out. And he was like the first illustrator author to become famous. And he was on the Today Show. And we, I did my first autographing with him at the bookstore in Boston. And he had a line out the street, down the block. It was like hundreds of people. And I had one polite person who stayed for most of the whole time. And they never bought a book, but they just asked me questions. And, and then when we left that uh, evening, we were walking through Boston Common and Jim Marshall said to me, Mark, don't ever let anyone know how easy our job is. I couldn't believe he said that, because for me, it's not that easy. You know, writing is hard work. Yeah. Tom Sawyer. Um, but my grandma, Thora, gave me uh, Tom Sawyer when we were ready to take a train trip to Cleveland from Erie, Pennsylvania, where I grew up. And I thought it was an amazing book. Um, I loved uh, Chris Van Allsburg's first book, the Garden of Abdul Ghazazi. It was in black and white, beautiful, beautiful drawings. Um, Judy Bloom, who was a friend, and I think she really was one of the first authors that was really honest with kids and writing things that they were going through and they were thinking about. And I also love that she stands up for censorship in this country because I think that's really important. It's becoming more and more important. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, that was fun.